All right, get ready to laugh. In the new coming-of-age comedy Primo, dating can sometimes be a group effort. Take a look. Can't be a date. I don't dress like it's a date. Which uncle did this? Because this can't be all you. Uncle Mike, y'all don't like it? What? She's going to think you're a divorced magician. What's up, guys? Rafi, you look cool. Thank you, Maya. They're my uncle's clothes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and with us this morning is cast member Ignacio Diaz Silviero. Welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good morning. You are Thanks the so leading for... man in in this in this uh, the primo. Uh -huh. how, how does it feel? Uh, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it feels good. It, um, you know, I just feel very fortunate uh, to be, yeah. Is it very surreal for you? Because we, we were talking during the break. Mm -hmm. um, you moved to New York about five years ago, right? And you, yeah. you're 24 now. Yeah. What was your acting experience? Uh, when I moved to the city, I had I I had no actual acting <laughs> experience. I just had sort of, yeah. I just um, had engaged with it as much as I could from from afar. Yeah, yeah. and now look at you. So this series um, mm -hmm. it was created by New York Times bestselling off author Shea Serrano, and it, it's actually yeah. based loosely on his life. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not like, it's not uh, a biopic by any means yeah. or like, you know, strictly autobiographical. Yeah. Um, there's certainly a lot of fiction in the show, but the framework of the show, the sort of skeleton of it is, is uh, yeah, based on his life and his childhood. Any oh. similarities between uh, the character you play and, and uh, you? <laughs> certainly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's certainly a number of similarities, probably some that I wish weren't true. Uh, <laughs> But no, Rafa has like this thing going on where if he um, if he's too conscious of what is happening and what he's doing, yeah. um, it goes it goes awry really quickly. Uh, <laughs> and if he's out of his head and just sort of like present and not really thinking too much about what he's doing, uh, he's usually fine. And that is probably the case for me. Like telling the hot girl he's wearing his uncle's clothes. Like tell yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you play a 16-year-old, right, yes. on a show. Yeah. Um, so obviously, experience, you've been there before. But what's sure. your favorite part of, of being on this series? Of being on this series? Oh, man. I love everything about being on this series, truthfully. It might sound like a sort of, uh, <laughs> like a cop-out answer, but it's just yeah. the truth. I, I would say, you know, there, um, I'm, the, I'm the only actor in the show that gets to... Uh, interact with the entire cast Aww. as much as I do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, like, a lot, of the, a lot of the actors that play the uncles, they'll sort of interact a lot with the other actors in the family, and the friends are always usually in the friend group. And I get to sort of, uh, in a lot of ways, I'm like a vessel for the audience. And you, and you, like, navigate, you through know, the you. chaos of the household through Rafa, through me, and uh, so I, I love getting to explore that dynamic and, like, the friend group dynamic and sort of, like jump in and out of both worlds. Nice. Well, the show does feature a, a, a Latinx, uh, you know, main cast, yeah. and the storyline is more about them as a family, uh, sure. the teenager coming of age. This is, a, I mean, this is something that anybody can, any family mm -hmm. can relate yeah. to. Yeah, no, definitely. It's not, um, you know, I, like the, the show, like you said, like centers um, a Hispanic cast, but it's not, that's not what it's about. Like, I, you know, I wouldn't say Primo is about Hispanic people any more than It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is about, yeah. like, Irish people. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's not what the show's about. We just so happen to be of that background. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let me ask you about something else you're working on. You filmed in New Jersey for Zach Braff's film. A Good Person, yes. Yeah. Well, look at you. <laughs> I mean, talk about being skyrocketed into show business. <laughs> What was that like? Tell us about about that and, and what it's been like for you. A Good Person is um, is written and directed by Zach Braff. It's a story about loss and about addiction. Um, it uh, it stars Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman. There uh, we go. There's some hello. clips right there. Um, and yeah, that came out earlier this year, and it's available to stream now. It's available to rent anywhere like you rent movies. And yeah, that was my my, my first movie. 
Um, besides, hello. yeah, besides being sprayed with a garden hose in the movie, uh, yeah, what was which I like? also am in primo, by the way. <laughs> so that's that's what? a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what a theme. Was a little typecast. Like, what was it like working with Morgan Freeman? Holy oh cow. man, it was. I, I booked that role. I think like exactly two weeks before I shot it. And I spent most of those two weeks just getting myself into a headspace where I could stand in front of Morgan Freeman and not like crumble. Um, but no, that was pretty bizarre. That was pretty intense. Like I, uh, I mean, he was wonderful. He was so mm. he tr truthfully, like he was so incredibly generous and kind, and and treated me. I was I was stunned by it. But like treated oh. me like an equal. Like would ask me, you know. I don't know, would ask me all sorts yeah. of questions and engage with me like in between takes in a way that felt like um, where he's really sort of like alleviated that pressure and did a, and um, yeah, it was it was a wonderful yeah. <laughs> experience. Was, such wow. a great storyline for that yeah. movie too. It's such a great storyline, your story. Yeah. yeah, well they're both deeply personal to the people that yeah. wrote them. So um, but so, we love your storyline. Oh, yeah. To just five years ago, who would have thought you'd be working with Morgan Freeman now? I, not so, me, yeah. <laughs> I certainly didn't think I'd be getting choked out by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and my own, well, uh, congratulations to you. Yeah, on your thank success. you so much. Thank you for That's having me. That's very awesome. All right, Ignacio, thanks for being with us. You can check him out on Primo, all eight episodes available to stream exclusively on Amazon Freebie.